Congratulations. Is that well, that's, that's who won the day. I want to tell you who won the day. Sports viewers. Because we just finished up with a great football game decided by one point in Atlanta. Yep. Starting the day with a 27-27 tie. Fans don't like ties, but at least it's a close game throughout. Very good game. And they get to wrap up their day right here on Fox with Game 5 of the World Series. The Cleveland Indians, one victory away from capturing their first series title in 68 years. The Chicago Cubs, one win away from keeping hope alive and sending the series to Cleveland. Let's send it out to Chicago. Take it away, Kevin. All righty, Kurt. We welcome you to the Lincoln Motor Company World Series pregame show on Fox as we get set for game number five of this World Series from Wrigley Field, a cool October night here in Chicago. Perfect night for baseball. And boy, there's a lot on the line if you're John Lester. The season, as a matter of fact, for the Cubs, though, they sent their ace to the hill tonight to try and keep it alive and ship this series back to Cleveland. But he's got to get through Francisco Lindor, who's been just splendid in these playoffs. Seven multi-hit games, a couple in this World Series. Indians one win away from a championship. And these fans at Wrigley, well, they're a little nervous, but they're still loud, that's for sure. We take a look at our set just outside the center field gate across from Murphy's Bleachers here in Wrigleyville. Come on in. Welcome to the show. Frank Thomas, Pete Rose, Alex Rodriguez, Tom Verducci, and I'm Kevin Burkhardt. So the Cubs on the brink of elimination, and they've got a lot of work to do against these Indians. Frank, how do they save their season and get this back to Cleveland? You can't say it enough. They got to score early and keep the energy in the ballpark. They got to lean on their fans tonight to help pull them through and try to win a game any way possible. Well, I think Lester will pitch well. Will Cleveland remain hot? Will Chicago remain cold? That's the question that's going to be answered in the next three and a half hours. It's a dream scenario for the Cubs. They have their two-time world champion and ace, John Lester, on the mound. Look, you bottom line is you need a great pitched game by him. You need three or four runs, hand the ball to Chapman, and move on to game six. For me, the story of the game is written in the first chapter, the first inning. Bauer really struggles in the first inning. I have not liked the approach of the Cubs the last couple of nights against curveballs. Really been jittery, nervous, chasing them. They have to make Trevor Bauer get that breaking ball in the zone. If they chase... Long night for the Cubs. And, and the Cubs haven't given their fans anything to cheer about in this World Series here at Wrigley so far, so there hasn't been anything positive there. So Joe Madden tries to change it up today. He's done it before. He said, guys, don't come into 530. Come in late, get loose. Think it'll work, Frank? Cup players are used to this. I don't think the world is used to this because this is the World Series, but it might loosen the guys up. You never know. Another offensive approach they need is just stay through the middle of the field. Well, I have this whole field open. Excuse me, Frank. I've had that happen to me many times during my career, but not during the World Series or during the playoffs. You got to get here and get the atmosphere going, get the batting practice, get the, uh, the, the blood flowing, mm -hmm. all the little things that make a good uh, ball player. Pete, I agree with you. When you get into this thing, and, and we've all get, gotten into them, it's not physical, it's, not men it's mental, and no BP or video is going to get you out of it. Take the driver and put it away. Stop thinking about eagles and, and birdies. Take a seven iron, and if you don't know what that means, it just means play little ball, line drives. Well, the tiger, they are tiger. Hey, you little golf here, baby. Play a little golf. They, the Cubs are having some big swings, and they are chasing. There's no yeah, doubt. Yeah, big games, big stars. Just like you guys, I look for Bryant and Rizzo. I don't see a lot of offense at the back half of that lineup. I'm looking at Bryant and Rizzo tonight. Yeah, and now we'll see if they can get just that. Yeah, the tiger's coming back. Are you coming back? Are you coming back? <laughs> Alex, bringing the whole game here. Golf's on Fox. Basketball. Basketball. He had a John Paxson reference the other day. You never know what's really going to happen here, and that's uh, the deal. Game five. Excited here at Wrigley. Why don't we go inside the ballpark and listen in to public address announcer Andrew Bellison. And now, ladies and gentlemen, once again, join Wayne Mesmer as he honors America with our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night 
night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the And so here we go. The Indians playing for a championship. The Cubs trying to keep their season alive. Joe Buck and John Smoltz have the call. And they'll join us after the break. someone to leave you alone you pretend like you're sleeping it's what you do if you want to save 15 percent or more on car insurance you switch to geico it's what you do taking selfies in the kitchen does not make you a model okay we begin with an update police have released a sketch of the suspect in yesterday's cookie theft they say he needs a bath and is afraid of vacuums the new university of iowa stead family children's hospital is nearing completion our reporters weren't allowed in the construction zone, but as this highly accurate reenactment shows, it's going to be awesome. The hospital is scheduled to open this December. And after the break, new eyewitness reports claim my big brother actually did hit me first, Mom. Shibana Creek RV, Atkinson, Illinois. Over 70 motorhomes in stock like this. 2014 Coachman Sports Coach, 40 foot, four slide out, 5,000 miles. Price now at $159,995. Like this, 2008 Itasca Meridian, 37-foot-long, two-slide-out, diesel-powered motorhome in perfect condition with only 21,000 miles, sold new for over 200,000, and priced now at only 119,995. Shavonna Creek RV, Atkinson, Illinois. furniture in Kiwani. Honest to goodness value, day in and day out. and Molly. Weeknights at 5 and 11 on Fox 18. John Smoltz is coming right up. Well, you know what's on the line tonight. Does it end here in Chicago at Wrigley Field? The Cleveland Indians get a chance to celebrate their first world championship since 1948, or do the Cubs, behind their ace, John Lester, 
force this series back to Cleveland, Ohio. It's going to be a fun night tonight on Fox. I welcome in John, and I think so far what's been very evident that with all the pressure of these home at bats in front of a raucous crowd at Wrigley Field, some of these young guys for the Chicago Cubs have been a bit overwhelmed. They got to calm it down a little bit. Yeah, no doubt. And what you you got to tell yourself what we haven't done. You got to remember what we can do. And they can hit. They can run. They can play defense. And oh, by the way, they have their best pitcher on the mound. So the Cubs are going to have to get back to the basics. They're going to have to get this crowd into it. They only scored two runs here at home for John Lester. You see the numbers offensively. John Lester has to control the other team. And what the offense. For the Cubs has to do is get the lead. They got to win the five innings. It sounds like a broken record, but the Chicago Cubs can flip the script really quickly. Lester, Arietta, Hendricks. Okay, let's talk about the Cleveland Indians. Now, this is a team that's firing on all cylinders, and tonight they've got Trevor Bauer going on short rest. We'll see a lot of the bullpen. Terry Francona is going for the throat tonight. It should be a quick hook night for the starter. Yeah, and that's what the Chicago Cubs are up against. That's why if it's close in the fifth or a lead for Cleveland, he's turning it over possibly to his closer. Cleveland playing with house money. I hate that term, but they're going to run like crazy if they get on base. Cleveland's got all the momentum, and I think for Bauer, keep them in the game and then let Francona do the rest. Off we go. It's game five of the World Series tonight on Fox. Oh, we get what we deserve. And we're down. We go. The Indians stand on the brink of their first World Series championship in 68 years. While Cubs ace John Lester carries the burden of 108 years of hopes and dreams. Will history be made tonight? Hey, man, why aren't you streaming my game? Oh, uh, hey, Bryce. I can't. See you. I've got Verizon, and I've already reached my data limit. You know this is the postseason, right? Yeah, I... You could be missing a classic. You're killing me, man, but look, more data would cost me a fortune. What if I just hit a walk-off bomb? Nah, you didn't. Did you? Why pay more for data limits? Introducing T-Mobile One. Unlimited data for everyone. Get four lines, just 35 bucks a month. Welcome to Unlimited Baseball. Can the toothpaste do everything well? This clean was like pow. It added this other level of, of clean to it. Six times cleaning. My teeth are glowing. They are so white. Six times whitening. I actually really like the two steps. Step one cleans, step two whitens. Every time I use this together, it felt like leaving the dentist office. Crest HD, six times cleaning, six times whitening. I would switch to Crest HD over what I was using before. Crest, healthy, beautiful smiles for life. Oh, this is awful. Try it. Oh, no, that looks gross. What is that? You gotta try it. It's terrible. I don't want to try it. It's terrible. It's like mango chutney and, and burnt hair. No, thank you. I have a very sensitive palate. Just try it. Guys, I think we should hurry up. If you taste something bad, you want someone else to try it. It's what you do. I can't get the taste out of my mouth. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to Geico. It's what you do. Shh. Dog, 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 dog. Discover card. I'm not a customer, but I'm calling about that credit score card. Give it. Oh, sure. It's free for everyone. Oh, well, that's nice. And checking your score won't hurt your credit. Oh! And I'm so proud of you. Well, thank you. Free at discover.com slash credit scorecard, even if you're not a customer. You don't know this yet, but in 1,500 miles, you'll see what you're really made of. After five hours of spinning and one unfortunate ride on the Gravitron, your grandkids spot a six-foot banana that you need to win. In that moment, you'll be happy you partnered with the Humana Care Manager and got your health back on track. Because that banana isn't coming home with you until that bell sings. Great things are ahead of you when your health is ready for them. At Humana, we can help you with a personalized plan for your health for years to come. One of the great international rivalries in world soccer. There's a lot of bad blood between these two teams. Lightning doesn't strike twice, it struck four times. Saturday, November 12th, only on FS1. 
Tonight's telecast is sponsored by T-Mobile One. Welcome to Unlimited Baseball. Well, the wind is blowing in, maybe left to right just a bit. It's 51. It feels a heck of a lot colder than that. It's going to get more chilly as we go. That's what the Scarecrow would say in the Wizard of Oz. I think it's going to get colder before it gets warmer or something along those lines. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Cleveland Indians. Fifth game, fifth different lineup. Rajay Davis, Jason Kipnis, and Francisco Lindor in the middle. Mike Napoli, Carlos Santana, who's back and left, and Jose Ramirez. Show the hair, Jose. He's at third. Back end of it, Brandon Geyer, Roberto Perez, and Trevor Bauer, lacerated pinky finger and all, ready to swing the bat and do what he can. On the mound, in the middle of all this defensive action is Lester. He's got Zobrist in left, Dexter Fowler in center, Jason Hayward in right. Around the infield, Chris Bryant, Addison Russell, Javier Baez, and Anthony Rizzo. David Ross does the catching, and that's the usual combination. Ross and Lester, who has been outstanding since the All-Star break. He's lost only twice. One of those losses coming in game number one when he was matched up against Corey Kluber. Went five and two-thirds, allowed three runs on six hits. But it's all on him now for the Chicago Cubs and these fans that are packed into Wrigley to try to get this series back to Ohio. Yeah, he's been really good and really good at home. And I think you're going to see a subtle adjustment just based on the last game, I would think that John Lester is going to pound some fastballs in. The wind's blowing in from left. It'll carry a little bit to right. And look for him to pound more strike once. He didn't do that as well as he would have liked to in the last game. And certainly keep the guys who can run off the bases. That would include Rajay Davis. Who's ready to go. And so is John Lester. Strike one. John Lester went 12 of 26 as far as first pitch strikes in game number one. And Rajay Davis likes to get on and start the engines. He stole 43 during the regular season. Problem is he hasn't been getting on one for 11 in this series. A pop up right side and will it stay in play? No, 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 no. The answer is no. And Jason Hayward had to slide around one of the Indians, either pitchers or part of their personnel down in the Cleveland bullpen as that ball was coming down. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised whoever that is. Does Macho get out of the way and the other guy doesn't get out of the way either. That's they're not even watching. Here's a no two pitch. Rajay Davis fouls it back. Well, Lester was trying to get his sinker. He actually threw a lot of sinkers in Cleveland, partly due to maybe not feeling really good with the four seamer and in. He's already pounded in Davis a lot more than he did. Ball one. You know, the goal for any pitcher when you're facing elimination, you want to be as sharp as you can be. You don't have to pitch perfect. That, get that out of your mind. Don't try to pitch perfect because then you'll make more mistakes. But you want easy outs, easy counts, and less stressful situation if you can avoid them. A ball and two strikes on Rajay Davis. Two and two. For coverage of this game in Spanish, please tune to Fox Deportes. Two quick strikes on Davis, now a 2-2 count. Lester, got it. Well, he goes to the two-seamer away. Just a great pitch after pounding him in with fastballs and cutters. First out of a guy who can run. A good start for Lester.
Number two hitter is Jason Kipnis, who hit a three-run shot here last night over the wall and right. Strike one. And when he did it, the first visiting player to homer here at Wrigley in a World Series with a three-run shot since Babe Ruth back in 1932. Here's the 0-1 from Lester. Nothing in two. There, trying to start it in against Kipnis. Actually, has real good late action and a good start. John Lester has pitched in a couple of elimination games, and his team has gone 0-2 in those games. Number three hitter is Lee Door takes a strike. So Lester trying to come through for the Cubs. Couldn't do it for the Red Sox. Back in 08 against Tampa Bay. But he looks on tonight, at least in this first inning, pounding strikes. That's what he needed to do and getting inside to Lindor. Lindor getting two hits off him in the first game. Last time Lester had a shot at an elimination game, he pitched for Oakland at Kansas City when he was traded in 2014 in the wild card game. He has a personal record of 0-1. His teams are 0-2. Tonight, trying to make a statement here in the first inning. His team down three games to one. Plenty of closers have fastballs touching triple digits. But what set Mariano Rivera apart was his ability to deliver when it mattered most. At the Hartford, we share that same commitment to our customers, helping over one million small business owners prevail when the pressure's on. What is that? Man, I don't know. Ask Google. night on Broadway is, is kind of magic. I'm Beowulf Borat and I'm a Broadway set designer. When I started designing Bronx Tale, the musical, I came up with this idea of four towers that were fire escapes, essentially. I'll build a little model in Photoshop and add these details in with a pen. I could never do that with a Mac. I feel like my job is to put out there just enough detail to spur the audience's imagination to fill in all the blanks. This Windows PC is amazing. Having all of my tools right at my fingertips is incredible. Telecast is sponsored by Masterpass, the simple, secure way to pay. Joe Madden told us before tonight's game, I have never wanted to see a Game 7 so badly in my life. Well, his team needs to come up with two wins to give the Cubs a chance in this series. Tonight, after a half, no score. The Cubs coming up. Here's their lineup. Top three, Fowler, Bryant, and Rizzo. In the middle, Ben Zobrist, Addison Russell back in the number five spot. And Jason Hayward back-to-back -back starts. Then it's Javier Baez, who's had a tough time in this series. Two for 17. David Ross and John Lester. Hitless this postseason. And here is Trevor Bauer, the 25-year-old right-hander. Eccentric, 
A little different. Pitching on three days rest. And plenty of rest going into that game two start, which he lost on Wednesday. 5-1 was the final. Ball one to Fowler. And some think that might help him be less powerful with his fastball and have more command and finesse on three days rest. Inside. Fowler went deep last night. His only RBI of this World Series. Four hits. Two and one. Well, here's the unorthodox style. You don't see this typically before a start where he's outside the dugout getting ready before a big World Series start. And then, right before he faces the Cubs, this is what he does every single time. Crow hops and throws it as hard as he can. But nobody questions the stuff he has. It's whether or not his game plan fits what the Indians are asking him to do and their catcher in Perez. They don't want him shaking off too much. Fowler steps out, gets back in. Cubs are hitting just 204 with 39 strikeouts in this World Series through four games. That's strike three on the inside corner. And that pitch had good movement, life to it, and Fowler heads back to the dugout. Well, with the angle that he delivers the ball, the unorthodox way that he throws almost, it seems like, from his hip, that's actually a four-seamer that moves. Most of those pitches, you would think, are two-seamers. But because he has changed his arm slot and arm angle when he gets ready to pitch, he's got more lateral movement on that four-seam fastball with the 12-6 to curveball that he also has with an arsenal. Cubs need to get Chris Bryant going. Time's running out. One for 14 in this World Series. No RBIs hitting 071. And the message I would give if there's a teammate that maybe not playing is take your walks if you're the Cubs. Take them. See, you expand the zone and you want to make something happen via the hits. You'll get something going if you just take the walks that the Indian pitchers are giving you. That has been a theme for the Cubs so far in this series. Not taking the walks. Game two, eight walks, win. That's popped up right side. It will get out of play for strike two. Last night it was David Ross who said at times we're having a hard time slowing the moment down. The moment, the atmosphere of us wanting to do so much for these fans. I really think that's where it comes from. This place is electric and the Cubs have been pressing. And now back-to-back -back strikeouts for Trevor Bauer. And Bryant didn't like the call. Two out. Well, they've been pounding curveballs against Bryant. And this one again, see that break from top to bottom? That one split the plate. Bryant's going to think that's low. That's what they've been doing to both him, Baez, Russell. Rizzo will try and break the string. Five batters have stepped to the plate in game five, and all five have struck out. Sure, we're going to find out if that's a uh, World Series record if they strike out the side, both stats on everything. That's what Aaron Charlton's in the booth for. And the guys and gals at Stats Inc. Another strike. Well, for the innings, good sign. That curveball didn't come until about the third inning in his previous start. So you can already see, looking, he's more in rhythm on three days rest early in the first inning than he was in the game in Cleveland. So Mickey Calloway, pitching coach, has done such a good job with this staff for Terry Francona. There's so much to say about Francona. I know we went into some of it last night. Trying to win his third world championship. Two and one on Anthony Rizzo. Yeah, and talking with him, still trying to make progress with Bauer, still trying to get him to come closer to halfway. He expressed to us last year at one point he threw 80 consecutive days off the mound. That just doesn't happen. But he's a unique pitcher. That's hammered. Down the line, foul. And out onto Sheffield. Well, that's the side of the field where the wind won't affect it as much. It's going to be blowing in from center to left center. And he knows as soon as he hits it, too much hook.
in the air to left, and that will cut to Santana. And Carlos Santana, who makes his second career start in left field, gloves it. No base runners yet. After one at Wrigley in game five. Date of arrival? Today. Profession? I just evolved just. I studied magical beasts. Doctors seek to provoke war between the magical and non magical worlds. The case. It was open? Just a smidge. Fantastic beasts and where to find them. Rated PG 13. Experience it in IMAX. The new Pixel phone by Google. Only on Verizon. Okay, Google. Show me Korean restaurants in Boulder. I found a few places. The only network that can power the first phone with a new Google Assistant, unlimited photo oh, storage, and a stunning VR experience. <laughs> How is this possible? So buy a Pixel only on Verizon and get up to $300 back. And right now, get four lines and 20 gigs for just $160 with no surprise overages. All on America's best network. Hey guys. Hey. Oh, is this the new boyfriend? Yes. <laughs> we haven't met yet. You're the sweetest. Yes. Do you want to hold him? Hold my baby, man. So easy to dip. So hard to put down. Rolled chicken tacos. Tasty shredded chicken all rolled up with your choice of dips. Back at Taco Bell. Electrical charges live at the heart of every hybrid. Only a few truly move us. With over one million on the road, Lexus hybrids are always charged and always ready. Best Buy Blue Shirts make finding perfect holiday gifts easy. Why, if we made it any easier, the little drummer boy would work your office party. And we all know why Phil loves the copier. <laughs> holiday gifting made easy at Best Buy. When I was a kid, I wanted to touch the skies. I wanted to invent things. I wanted to protect others. I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to make a difference. I knew that one day, I would be the difference. I am a special missions aviator. Clinical nurse. Pararescueman. I'm Captain Chris Niels, and we are American Airmen. See more at airforce.com. Whether you're wearing layers, beads, stripes, or cheese. If you bleed blue, black and yellow, purple, or various shades of red, this is your beer. Home plate umpire tonight is Tony Randazzo. Joe West is at first base. Sam Holbrook at second. Chris Guccione over at third and left. It's John Hirschbeck, the crew chief, and Marvin Hudson in right. That's on the inside corner. That's 11 strikes in 14 pitches from John Lester. Larry Vanover is the umpire back in New York. He'll watch the replays. Here's a little flare into shallow right center out behind the second base position. One out. Well, you can learn a lot by watching BP. And earlier today, balls to the left field. The hitters couldn't drive him out of here any depth or any height. But to right, Napoli was putting on a show, fading some over to right center. And you can tell the theme of Lester getting in on right-handers is going to be important because he's going to want them to actually pull the ball in the air and not hit the slicers to the right side. You weren't even looking at your monitor when we flashed up that last graphic. I wasn't. What did it say? Big swing and a miss by Carlos Santana, the last NL pitcher to strike out the first three batters in a World Series game. There, right there. Look, read. Oh. View in game five against the Yankees. Can we keep that up there for a while? That was in Atlanta before the Yankees won it in game six. Here's a pop up right side. Foul ball. Will it stay in play? Ross is there, and he gets an assist as Rizzo puts it away. Two out. Great job. Never assume anything. Right there. See that camera? That probably gave him a little bit of a 
reach, and here comes his partner in crime. The old tip drill. If only Jim Harbaugh were here to see that. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. How about that? Two out, nobody on, and Jose Ramirez steps in. Strike one. Yeah. Ramirez waits for the 0 1. And hits one a ton into left. Back at the wall, it is gone. And the Indians strike first in game number five here in the second. When he asked Terry Francona about Jose Ramirez, he says he's just made himself a great hitter. And after a terrific regular season, he has stayed hot in the postseason. Indians up 1-0 in the second. You're right about that, making himself a great player. He has been outstanding all year. Doesn't matter what side of the plate. Well, one inside to Brandon Geyer. Terry Francona moving these pieces all over this order. Fifth different lineup that he's used through five games. And out of that number six spot, Ramirez goes deep. One ball, one strike on Geyer. We showed you the umpires, and everyone associated with baseball extend our condolences to the family of retired umpire Mark Johnson, who passed away on Wednesday. Tonight's umpiring crew personally conveys their condolences to Mark's wife. Leia. So they are thinking of him tonight. The man in blue. And Brandon Geyer will try to follow that blast by Jose Ramirez. Just outside, and the count goes to three and one. I don't think Ramirez could have hit that ball any harder. It was perfect execution. You almost feel like he was looking for it because he. John Lester threw it exactly where David Ross wanted it. That's hard hit. Plays. A dive, a throw, a dig. Got it. What a play. And Geyer says, let's check and make sure Rizzo's foot was on the bag. What a play on both ends. Brian, you see the ball down the line. Great extension. Taller third baseman gets up and his teammate bails him out. Great pick. And as of now, wow, the Indians are not going to challenge. And they've already said they're not going to challenge it. But it looks like Rizzo's foot's off the bag. Does it get back? We'll look at it again. But here's the home run. Jose Ramirez has gone deep. That's his first of the postseason. And the Indians strike first in game five. When you have four legs, you really appreciate the seventh inning stretch. And it gives me just enough time to keep tabs on my money and banking. With my Bank of America mobile banking app, I can see my accounts all in one place. I can easily manage them, and if something doesn't look right, I'm going to know. Plus, I feel secure because I can set up alerts to help detect unusual activity. So I always have my eye on the ball. Oh, man. Typical. I'll tell you back. Is this my car? State Farm knows that for every one of what? those moments... This is ridiculous! There's one of these. Is this my car? What? This is ridiculous. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Oh, it's happening, sweetheart. Oh, it's happening, sweetheart. Shut up. Shut up. Ah! <laughs> That's why State Farm is there. What a day. With car insurance for when things go wrong. What a day. But also here with car loans <laughs> to help life go right. State Farm. Well, if you want to sing out, sing out. And if you want to be free, be free. There's a million things to be, you know, the 
that there are And if you want to be me, be me And if you want to be you, be you Cause there's a million things to do You know that there are you get used to sweaty odors in your car. You think it smells fine, but your passengers smell this. Eliminate odors you've gone nose blind to for up to 30 days with the Febreze car vent clip. Break out the Febreze and breathe happy. Jose Ramirez, his first home run away from Progressive Field since the 23rd of May. It's 235 at bats ago, and it comes in Game 5 of the World Series in the second to give Cleveland a 1-0 lead, and Ben Zilbrist is first up. We'll give you another look at that play at first base. It's close as to whether Rizzo got his foot back on the bag. Here's Zilbrist into right. And that will curl to the right fielder, Geyer, one out. You could hear somebody in the dugout tell Terry Francona, look at the big replay board to see if you want to challenge it. The big replay board did not show this angle. The question is, does the foot of Rizzo get back on the bag before the right foot of Geyer? The call was out. And as we've learned so far this postseason, John, unless it is clear and concise, they're not going to overturn it. Here's a strike into Addison Russell. Yeah, being so early up one nothing and being so close, I don't think it was worth losing a challenge uh, for Terry Francona. One ball, one strike. Joe Madden said Addison Russell is a big confidence guy, which means he's telling Addison Russell, I have confidence in you to hit the number five spot. He hasn't been in this spot since early on in the postseason. Because yeah, Joe Madden's up, up. looking for something, Black some Hill's spark in this right lineup. He's got Russell back behind Zobrist. Check swing. Two and two. Yeah, and he, does, he doesn't jump out like that where he swung in a lot of those pitches. And you could hear Joe Madden saying, come on, right field corner, double. He wants him to stay on the ball and go the other way and then react in. The curveball and breaking ball has just absolutely given Russell a lot of fits. Full count. And the other thing that's given the Cubs fits is this count. They have not won enough of these counts. Three and two. Let's just see if they can command the strike zone and be as calm as possible and not expand it on a 3 2 count. That's down the left field line, headed for the seats foul. Last night was the first time since Game 5 of the Division Series with the Washington Nationals. The team that scored first lost. Cubs scored first last night. But lost the ball game. Here's one up the middle. Russell's on with one out. That's a good sign. 3-2 curveball, and he stays on it. See how he stays on it and goes right up the middle. Even though he might have been a little fooled, he keeps his hands back and doesn't try to do too much. If you try to flat out pull that ball, that's where you're going to miss it or you're going to make it out, rolling it over to the third baseman. Those are the kind of at-bats in a baseball game, one at a time, pass the baton down, let the next guy do his job. That's the only way you get back for the Chicago Cubs offensively in this series. Back-to-back -back starts for Jason Hayward. Coming off his first multi-hit game since September 26th. And he would like to reward Joe Madden for going back to him. In the lineup last night because of how good he is defensively out in right. With John Lackey on the mound and got a couple of hits, so he's back in there tonight. Batting in the sixth spot. And again, I got to re-echo, this is not a fun position for Jason Hayward as the year did not go the way he wanted. You get benched, your pride takes a hit. He's handled it from what we can see as good as possible. He comes in, pinch hits, 
plays the defense but that pinch hit line drive to center and now he's been swinging the bat a little bit better 2 0 pitch those are the pitches though that you got a keyhole you got to you got to sell out at some point in one area when you're having the at bat in your favor at 2 0 just took it for a strike it's two and one right side foul two and two Hayward now with Baez on deck and then remember David Ross does the catching for Lester so he's in the number eight spot. pitch that jumps back into the strike zone the one that got Fowler gets Hayward see when he stays on top instead of I call it throws a shot put he has the capability of throwing fastballs that can do what Kluber did but when he gets out of whack and rushes he rides the ball up he's a high fastball curveball guy but when he gets out of rhythm he's higher than high and it doesn't make it look good for Baez I would be on the attack first pitch and then be cautious once they get strike one on you. What? Ball one inside. What's happening is he's he's missing the first pitch, and then once he gets a strike on him, they start expanding the zone and don't even come close to throwing him another strike. And unfortunately, he's helping him out. Two for 17 in this World Series. There's a strike. Well, this is what they've been doing to him. And the one thing that I can tell you from being on the mound, when the hitter gives you these scenarios and you expand the zone and you don't swing at strikes, you're not going to get many more. Once you get a strike on this guy, you just see how far he's willing to fish. And you go higher than high, lower than low. It's a perfect example. It almost speeds his mind up when he gets a strike. Instead of trusting that he doesn't going to see another strike, it's almost like if you could put the take sign on once Baez gets a strike, which you know they're not going to do, he would be better served to get the count back in his favor. But lately, he's just hoping they make a mistake in the middle of the zone because he's already committed. He goes after that pitch in the dirt and a strikeout on another bad ball way out of the strike zone and that's the first swinging strike three that trevor bauer has picked up four strikeouts and after two in game five one to nothing indians on top Today, we're talking about automotive awards. Which one of these awards appeals most to you? A uh, top safety pick, mid-sized car, and SUV. Most dependable means a lot to me. The green car, because I like fuel efficiency. What if there was a car company that received all of these awards? One company, one award, and all these? Chevy. Uh, oh, Chevy. Uh, Chevrolet is the most awarded car company of the last two years. I love it. It's fierce. How would you sum this car up in one word? Incredible. Amazing. I can't use one word. <laughs> Hey, Evan. So, you're stuck at a work thing. With DirecTV and AT&T, you can stream all your favorite shows without using your data. That makes you more powerful than a table for 60. Wednesdays are the new Thursdays. <laughs> or the mandatory after party. How early is too early to leave? You're not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. It's your TV. Take it with you. Watch all your live channels on your devices data free. Say the pregame is almost as important as the game game. I gotta agree. You guys have your football practice. That's for you. But this, this is how we get ready. Tailgating, tailgating. Woo! Do you have a pregame ritual? Like something wacky you do? Like you should just scream in the mirror. <sighs> I'm hungry. I'm on it. Larry Culpepper, this is for you. Oh. In your face. 
I go down to Pimper here. That's it. And, uh, That's and, uh, it. Yeah. There's a new Taco Hero in town. In Game 1 of the World Series, Francisco Lindor stole a base for Cleveland and free tacos for America. Run into any participating Taco Bell to score your free Doritos Locos Taco Wednesday, November 2nd from 2 to 6 p.m. Only at Taco Bell. Halloween break. Chance. Chance the rapper. Break me off a piece of that kick and bar. That's a good song. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. Wear with the best wear. MLBshop.com. Just get it started. It's a brand new offseason on MLB Network with an all-star lineup, including baseball's only off-season TV morning show. We live baseball 24-7-365 on MLB Network. Tonight's telecast is sponsored by Chevrolet. More 2016 J.D. Power Defendability Awards than any other brand. The Cleveland Indians have won 15 straight when they've hit a home run, including 9-0 in the postseason. And that goes back to how good their pitching's been. The Indians come into this game with a group ERA of 1.68 this postseason. That's the fourth lowest ever in the history of the postseason. Minimum seven games, and they've done it against Boston, Toronto, and now the Cubs. Three good hitting teams, typically. It'd be 1.3 without ba without Bauer. Bauer's the only one that's had some hiccups. One ball, one strike on Roberto Perez. Against Lester, went one for three with a home run in game one. Had a home run later in the night. Ball two. It's just the Indians have been amazing on their opportun opportunities. I mean, when they've squared some balls up, it's with the wind blowing in. And they have made this park look small with the wind blowing in. Two and two. the infield it's Bryant coming to get it and in foul ground has a one out with a pitcher Trevor Bauer coming up we look at what's going on with this Indians pitching five shutouts in 12 games and obviously there are more opportunities more rounds in the postseason now divisional play starting in 1969 but that's the first team in postseason history to throw five shutouts. Meanwhile, you look at what the starters and relievers have done, and the ERA almost identical, and the innings pitched not too far away between the starters and relievers for Terry Francona. Strike one on Trevor Bauer. Yeah, they've been outstanding, both sets of it, starters and relievers. If I'm Trevor Bauer, I don't even swing. He's got that pinky issue. Don't even mess with it. Ten stitches in the right pinky. It's cold. All you got to do is get jammed. Here's a no two pitch. Okay. Ball one. Matter of fact, I, there's times I've been up there. I've told the umpire, seriously, don't mess around. Get me out of here. Anything close, call a strike. And the catcher looks at me like I'm baiting him, like I'm setting him up for a pitch down the middle. Two and two. And Lester's yelling at himself. I had a little chip fracture, and I, I didn't want to swing. I didn't want to do anything. And there are five, two starts I did. 2-2 two, two pitch. That is a foul ball, and Joe West was almost hit by it. And then gave the foul call. Sandy Alomar is saying, hey, wait a minute. That looks fair. Let's give it a look. It went right between Joe's legs. This ball was really close to being fair. 
I think he got the call right. Yeah. Terry Francona went out to talk to the home plate umpire. That's Tony Randazzo. And he goes down to Joe West to make sure. Joe West, the old Elon College quarterback. Shake of the head from Terry Francona, but I think that replay showed that it was the right call. So forget about Trevor Bauer not being able to swing the bat. We keep acting like people know what we're talking about. Had was fixing his drone on the Friday before the ALCS started. One of the propellers started, cut his pinky on his pitching hand. It required 10 stitches. He could only throw 21 pitches in his game three start. Had to come out. Here is Hayward. Made the catch. And even Bauer has to smile at that. He climbed the wall and had to reach behind him. Two out. Yeah, he was prepared to go on the stands. You see him reach up and come back and get it. Cubs widely known for their great defense. They've had some hiccups the last couple games. And Bauer giving them the, his approval. Rajay Davis now struck out his first time. Breaking ball for a strike. Solo home runs. Pitchers don't mind giving up solo home runs. You just don't want to get chaos on the bases if you're John Lester. Especially if you're John Lester. Yes. So there's issues with throwing the first. Chris Bazio is pitching coach. Here's the 0-2 to Davis. Ball one. He tried to backdoor a cutter right there, and he just got out in front of himself. Lester on only a couple pitches has been a little frustrated. Stay back and trust it. Well, the defense hurt the Cubs last night. Chris Bryant committing two throwing errors in the same inning. Coming in the second, a two-run second, where the Indians entered trailing one to nothing and left the frame up two to one. Pretty much were in control the rest of the way. One at seven to two. Here's one to Baez. Bryant's already made a good play in this game tonight. A good play by Rizzo. Actually, two by the first baseman. Now this by Jason Hayward. Almost went too far. One nothing, Cleveland. Okay, let's call this agent. I'm coming over right now. Tell Caesar to keep his toga on. I'll be right there. The newly advanced GLE can see in your blind spot. Onboard cameras and radar detect danger all around you. Driver assist systems pull you back into your lane if drifting. Hi, Chief. Hi, Bobby. And will even help you brake if necessary. It makes driving less of a production. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. <laughs> For all my life, I'll be devoted to you. How do you become America's number one? Start by taking care of families for 70 years. Earn the trust of 32 NFL teams. Be there for America's toughest. And help when help is needed. America's number one is in a status earned overnight. It's earned in every wash and re-earned every day. Tide, America's number one detergent. Remember 2007? Smartphones? 
OMG. Ten years later, nothing's really changed. It's time to snap out of it. Hello, Moto. Snap on a JBL speaker, a projector, a camera that actually zooms. It's a phone you could change again and again and again. Hello, Moto. Get excited, world. Moto is here. The new Moto Z with Moto Mods. This is my retirement. Retiring retired tires, and I never get tired of it. Are you entirely prepared to retire? Plan your never-tiring, retiring, retired tires retirement with E-Trade. I'm Invests, and as a vested investor invests, I invest with E-Trade, where investors can investigate and invest. Invests. Or not invests. Sign up at E-Trade.com and get up to $600. Well, David Ross got an assist earlier. We flash back. 1980, game six, second to last out. Frank White hit it. Bob Boone deflected. And Pete Rose was there to grab it for the out. Second inning tonight in game five. David Ross was there. So was Rizzo. And part of the good defense tonight for the Chicago Cubs, who trail one to nothing, and Ross leads it off. Cubs are hoping to extend this World Series to a game six in Cleveland and David Ross hoping to extend his career to a game six in Cleveland. He's finished after the 2016 season at the age of 39 concussions. One of the reasons why probably the biggest he can still play loved on this team loved in the seats in the hole here one and two. Well, for Bauer and the Indians, they've got to be pleased. He's throwing strikes. He's got his finesse pitches working. He won't have to be in there very long if they have a one or two run lead. They'll go right to the pen as soon as Terry Francona thinks his advantage with the guys he has down there can take the rest. Well, keep this in mind. Cody Allen, the closer, could come on as soon as the fifth. Left side, this is Lindor with plenty of time and plenty of arm. And I didn't misspeak. We talked to Terry Francona before the game, and he said, well, we could flip-flop and give the bulk of the work to Cody Allen. He'll be ready early. I said, well, how early is early? Like end of the sixth? He said, no, fifth. So that's at least in his mind. Who knows if that comes to pass, but... Between Alan Shaw and Andrew Miller, who is available tonight. Those big arms will be seen out of the bullpen as the Indians try to end it here in Chicago. Yeah, make no mistake, even Terry Francona, when talking to him about the scenarios, he said, look, we can't do this in a regular season. Everyone's getting all excited. All the people who think this is the way you manage games in a regular season, there's no way I can use my pen that way. Matter of fact, if we were well equipped and, and healthy in our starting rotation, it would be a different story. Lester strikes out, and that is five strikeouts for Trevor Bauer. <laughs> it's Harry Francona, who, as we showed you, has a great record in elimination games. He's lost only one World Series game while he's gone 11 and one is I think he's staring at the Hall of Fame I mean he's already won two world championships and he goes to Cooperstown with another automatically and may even go in with two for the job he did with the Boston Red Sox yeah absolutely and he's not thinking about that but you know that if he gets his third in the two places where you eliminate a long time where Boston had won, now Cleveland hasn't won. 2-0 to Fowler. Now he changed up on him. And Fowler way out in front. Trevor Bauer much better tonight than game two. He's in much better rhythm and even that pitch right there, not giving in to the count. Showing finesse. 2-1. That is foul down the line. You know, you think about it, and it's just sometimes, and, and, and for the Chicago Cubs, 
it really is this simple. You really believe you could win three games in a row with the pitchers you're going to run out there, but you're going to need a little help from your offense. They did it 18 times this year, win three games at least in a row. But they're going to have to string together better at bats, no doubt. But, I mean, the top half of this lineup's got to cover, got to cover the bottom half. They've got to be better than what the bottom half is not doing. Here's a 3-2. High fly ball into right. Geyer to his right. Trevor Bauer in charge so far. Fourth inning rolls in in game five. Indians coming up as they lead by one. I'm here in Bristol, Virginia. And now I'm in Bristol, Tennessee. On this side of the road is Virginia, and on this side, it's Tennessee. No matter which state in the country you live in, you could save hundreds on car insurance by switching to GEICO. Look, I'm in Virginia. I'm in Tennessee. Virginia, Tennessee. And now I'm in uh, Virginia C. See how much you could save on car insurance. Or am I in Tennessee? Hmm. I will follow you. Follow you. Wherever you may go, there isn't an ocean too deep, a mountain so high it can keep, keep me away, away from my love, you are my destiny. you got to make a truck heavier to make it stronger has been working too long without a hard hat. Meet the all-new 2017 Ford Super Duty. They cut weight with a high-strength, military-grade aluminum alloy body and reinvested a big chunk of it to beef up the high-strength steel frame. Forging the most capable heavy-duty pickup in America. Time to punch work in the face. This is the next level. This is the all-new Ford Super Duty. Shoppers, Nabisco is celebrating 115 years, giving away $115,000 and other daily cash prizes. Buy today for your chance to win. Visit Nabisco.com to learn more. Game five, the hottest, most dramatic show on television. Empire is all new Wednesdays on Fox. Trey Byers, Grace Byers, who star in the show, married in real life, here amongst the fans at Wrigley Field. Where the Cubs face elimination, the Indians face an opportunity to win their first world championship since 1948. First up, Kipnis takes a strike. Jason shows Bunt. That is a fair ball. Great job by Ross as he pounced on that before it could roll foul. One away. And that's what the Indians have to do. That, that's exactly. But the problem is you want to bunt it out towards the mound. You want to make Lester feel this. Watch how it just dies right here. Just stays right there. And Ross knows he's got to get this quickly and it's an easy out. He is an extra leader that Joe Madden has out on the field with his team facing elimination here tonight. David Ross. With one out, nobody on. Here's Lindor. High fly ball into left. Coming to get it, Zobris. Two quick outs. And the batter will be Napoli. 
Beautiful shot of the great city of Chicago. And tonight's telecast is sponsored by Bud Light, Lady Gaga's new album, Joanne, available at Apple Music. And by Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Downtown all lit up, John, and tonight's aerial coverage brought to you by DirecTV. If you call yourself a sports fan, you've got to get DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. I'm going to get in one of those one of these days. Here is Napoli hooking it foul down the line. Well, Lester's doing everything you could want a starter to do in elimination. He's throwing strikes. He's getting easy outs. Yes, one ball left the yard. One run's not going to beat you. That's what you got to tell yourself. And certainly, you're making a statement for your ball club to say, I'm on. All we've got to do is get on the scoreboard, and we will win. That's strike two. Each side has only one hit, but the Indians made it count with a Jose Ramirez two-out solo shot in the second. Ryan Rizzo and Zobris coming up for Chicago in the bottom of this fourth. Napoli hit a ball here yesterday that would have been in the street. No doubt. Absolute moonshot. He himself couldn't believe that, that ball stayed in the ballpark. Two and two. go away after establishing in. I wonder if he goes cutter in and try to get under the barrel. Napoli likes the ball down. Let's see where David Ross goes on a 3-2 count. The back away. Will that stay in play? Rizzo and Ross. It's Ross. In and over. <laughs> He's right in the middle of it all. Ross gets this one. No assists. Bottom of the fourth, one to nothing. Cleveland. Customer cash on select 2016 models. See your Lexus dealer. So, can I redeem my rapid rewards points at any time? Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it. Thanksgiving. Fourth of July. Yes to any seat, any day, any time. Just the way you want it. That's transparency. It's your TV. Take it with you. With DirecTV and AT&T, watch all your live channels on your devices data free. Switch to DirecTV and lock in your price for two years. Offer starting at $50 a month. With over a billion color combinations, you'll wonder where the screen ends and life begins. The clearest, most vivid picture we've ever created. This is TV. The SUHD TV from Samsung. Inside the rack houses of Jim Beam, thousands of barrels lay silent. Aging, building a fuller, smoother flavor that only comes from being aged for long years. At Jim Beam, our history's made from the inside. How will you make yours? Now try Jim Beam Apple, poured over ice and served with club soda and a fresh lemon wedge to make a crisp, 
Refreshing Jim Beam Apple and Soda. There's free shipping on this XPS 13 and everything else at Dell.com. Remember when they used to say free shipping and handling? Whatever happened to the handling? Well, that's right. I do all the handling. Can you handle this laptop before we ship it, Nick? Thanks. Well, I'm happy to help. There's free shipping and handling on everything at Dell.com.